Today's video is all about my sister and my sister's barn. But is, I think there's a gator in your pool. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, do you hear that? Oh my god. I see it, I see it. I got him right got here. It? Yeah, yeah, I got him. All right, I'm pulling him up. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. This right here is Theo Jr. This right here is Alfie and welcome to my incredible jungle here at the Redland Conservation Center We have hundreds of animals. We have probably over 50 different species here. We got monkeys. We got big cats We got all kinds of critters. Yo, what is that? What is that? What is that? Today's video is all about my sister and my sister's barn and her house my sister bought a house and she has had all kinds of creatures living in her house And we went and caught some crazy creatures that were living inside of her abandoned barn guys You're not gonna want to miss this one. So let's put these crazy kids away and let's head over. All right, everyone I just got over to my sister Hannah's house and if you guys did not know yet Hannah has finally bought her own house I did it guys. It's insane. It's so sick. It's I'm so crazy. proud of Hannah. Look at this. It's insane So it's not quite as big as mine, but I have a massive property, but this is big, definitely big enough for Hannah. Perfect for me, Hannah, guys. This is, this is insane. I know. It, guys, it feels unreal. If you've been on our channel, you've seen our house, but this is it. So this is just the front yard. So her property is about an acre and a quarter. So not only are we here for a house tour, but we're also here about the creatures that you're finding around the house. It's Hannah, insane. Why don't you explain to everyone what you've seen since you've been here, what you've caught, what the heck is going on? So at first, when I was picking up the keys, I didn't know that the old owners were leaving me their turtle, but they left me their 15-year-old turtle. Uh -huh. And then when and construction started happening, they were ripping up the roof in my kitchen, and we found rats. It was baby wait, 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 rats. wait, wait, wait. Rats in the, wait, I was there, I know about this. Yes, there was rats baby in the ceiling. Rats. Yeah, I was actually here for that. Um, rats in the ceiling, that was kind of crazy. Uh, really crazy, so, kind of gross. Uh, abandoned turtles, rats in the ceiling, and, and what else, Hannah? And actually, I don't know if I told you this, but the previous owners, when we were doing a walkthrough in the house and we went to the master bathroom, she said that there was this like lizard or some type of animal living in like the vent area. Or I don't know where exactly, what? but would make noise at night. Like what kind of noises? I don't know. It was like eh -er, eh -er, something like that. She really? was she was trying to replicate it. I, I don't know exactly what it was, but I haven't seen anything. We're going to be searching around the master bathroom and see what we can find now. It literally looks like a war zone in the house. They've been doing yeah. construction. Everything Completely is ripped up. I am. What else are we doing? And we're gonna go take a look at the turtle. We're gonna take a look at my pond, check out the fish, check out my turtle. So not only are we gonna be checking out my turtle in his new pond, but we're gonna be checking the traps in the barn. And guys, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but we're building Wait. a giant koi pond here. A koi pond, so you show everyone. See, so yeah. this is already dug out, but this what about the traps in the barn? I don't know. I've been hearing noises. I, I, I saw something that could be an animal living in there. There was poop literally everywhere, but we set traps, so I don't know if we caught anything. All right, well, we're going to check that out and yeah. show everyone this. So this is like dug out. It's really hard to see. Why don't you like go down in there? Yeah, guys, so it kind of dips down. So this is like the perfect area for a koi pond. It's, it's already dug out, so I'm already envisioning it. A koi pond here, maybe a rock wall. Maybe we got some tortoises walking around, some That's turtles. Idea. Guys, the ideas are endless and only through hard work and dedication can your dreams come true. So that's what you guys can take from this. Follow your dreams and you'll be able to build crazy koi ponds. You'll be able to buy a house at 21 years old. Guys, this is insane. So let's go check out this turtle. So where's the turtles, Hannah? Show us. We also got a new tiki hut. I guess this is for some birds, yeah. a new tiki enclosure. We're not, not sure what we're putting in that, but the pond is around this corner. Okay, so right here is Hannah's backyard. So we got patio, we got the pool, then we got this entire back area. So it's actually a really great size perfect size for Hannah and we got our little turtle pond over yep, here all the way let's in show the everyone our little turtle friend so how, how was this turtle how'd you find him he was living in a tank for like 15 years he had no basking area and he was the poor thing was just swimming around oh that's terrible it was so horrible now he's got a little pond obviously I think we're gonna be upgrading this pond yeah this is just temporary so why don't you why don't you grab this guy out try okay, to find guys. him I'm gonna I'll, I'll guess I'll reach in there too so to? all right you, you get that side, side I'll okay. get this side all right. Okay. Oh, there's a rock right here. Oh, so I'm feeling like... fish. Oh, I feel fish too. I feel fish. Like yep, I, hand, I feel them. But he usually hangs out in this area, Jacob. I don't feel him. Wait, wait, but it's going down. My arm is like, whoa! It's like. Do you feel him? No, but my arm keeps going down. I'm almost to the bottom, guys. I might get my finger taken off. Do, are you feeling him, Hannah? I'm not feeling anything. I'm not. Fe I don't think he's in here. We've I literally felt this entire pond. This area is like really shallow. Yeah, Jacob, I think he escaped. But where to? Because I don't know. Couldn't have gone anywhere. We have a fence everywhere. There's literally no place for him to dig out. I'm thinking he probably made it to the pool. The pool. That's the only closest area that he would try well, to go to. Let's go check it out. All right. The moment of truth, Hannah. Is the turtle Making in the pool? Our way. 
Where is he? Up Let's here. see. All I see is crystal blue water, and I think he's right there. Yep, he made it to the pool. But is, I think there's a gator in your pool. <gasps> No way. Guys, I think there's a... Oh my gosh. So Hannah lives right next to a canal and I think there's a baby gator in the pool. Do you see no that? Way. So I see our turtle friend, but I'm more concerned about the, the alligator. I'm concerned about I'm the a alligator. Scared. I'm a little I'm not scared. I'm, I'm, I want to catch this thing. Go check him out. Oh my God, guys. Guys, he's moving. He's moving down. Look at that. Wait, where is this guy? Hannah, hold the camera. I'm going to catch him right now. Guys, <laughs> there's a gator in the pool right here. Come, come, come. One, two. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's just a fake gator. But the first time I was over here, I saw this gator. I thought it was a gator. Very but realistic. Really realistic, but definitely not a gator. All right, Hannah, it's time to jump in. I'm, I'm you, not jumping you, in that. What? Yeah. Yeah, you got to jump in. You got to save your turtle, right? Ooh. This is your turtle. This is your pool. Shouldn't you jump in and save him? I have no other clothes. <laughs> So Hannah, we've got to get this turtle out of the pool because yeah, there is chlorine in the pool. Which for a day or two, it's not really going to hurt the turtle if this turtle were to stay in here for weeks and months and years. It could be possibly harmful, but we don't have a net. So we either have to jump in or we're going to have to use a stick. But what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below. How should we catch him? Should we jump in or should we use a stick? So we don't have a net, but we can go through some of the stuff that's here, all the junk that we're throwing away. Maybe we can find something that we can actually use for this turtle. I think I found the perfect thing. You spot something? We might be able to use one of these giant sticks, but this I think is a little too long. Yeah. But for those of you that don't know, this is the tank that this turtle was living in. No basking area, as you can see. So this is the tank. Take a look, which Jacob, if it smelled the, rotten. Wait, let me finish, yeah. wait. It smelled horrible. Right? Oh, wait. Let me, let me touch the water, wait. Oh, yep, that's rotten. And we found the perfect piece. We're gonna use this big piece. It's the perfect length. It's not too long. It's not too short. So we're gonna try to basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to use this. We're gonna try to scare the turtle to one side. Hannah's gonna grab the turtle and hopefully we'll save him. So the turtle's on the move right now. You can see he made it right over here to the edge. So Hannah, come here, come here right now. So basically I'm gonna add, lower the stick in the pool. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to move him all the way up, just like this. Wait, wait, he's moving. We're gonna try to move him to the shallow end right now to try and get them. Obviously, if we had a net, that would be ideal. But we don't, so we gotta make do with what we got. All right, Hannah, I'm bringing them up. Okay. Grab them. One, two. Wait, Did wait, you get them? No. no. Wait, Move you got them. One hour later. Now's your chance. Wait. Grab them. Really? You got them. I got them. Yes. We got them. Oh, he's, Snappy. he's angry. S Snappy the turtle. He is really angry Don't right do now. that. Guys, we saved the turtle from the pool. I'm not sure if he wanted saving, but he doesn't know that this chlorine is bad. So what we're doing right now is we're actually rinsing the turtle off with fresh water. Since this guy was in the chlorine, we're going to rinse him off with some fresh water. So we're rinsing him off so we can get all that chlorine off to make sure he's happy and healthy. So we're honestly not sure how this guy got out because the water level is about four inches from the top and he probably climbed, honestly, he probably climbed on top of the plants. Yeah. So we're going to remove these plants right now, but we're going to put the turtle back in the water. So I just want to put him right here in his basking spot and see if he wants to go in. Here, buddy. You want to go in? And three, two, one, and he's back in his pond. So what do you say, Hannah? Should we go check the barn? Let's do it. Okay. So now that we got to save the turtle from the pool, it is time to check out Hannah's barn. Hannah's been seeing some creatures around here. She's been hearing noises, seeing signs, and I don't blame you because this is the scariest barn that I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's pretty scary. There's a lot that we need to do to it, but this is how they left it, and yep, it's a little it spooky. It looks like if you went in, you would never come out. <laughs> <laughs> so just recently, Hannah finished a perimeter fence all the way around her property. Prior to that, this was kind of like no fence here, and she's surrounded by 20 acres of avocado trees. And in those avocado forests, there's all kinds of creatures, predators, pythons, coyotes, raccoons, I possums, can't even imagine. all kinds of stuff. And they could be here on your property. There's also like a mini forest right over here a pineland so hannah why don't you show me the evidence show me where are we going you you lead the okay, way Okay. so over here when i first initially took a look at the barn i noticed there was an area under here really that's something you could just go up under right well there could be something Is literally it? living underneath this so we just saw a lizard runner under here and now we weren't sure what kind of lizard it is so we're just going to lift these up right now we're going to lift these just like this and we want to be able to lift it up in one shot and grab the lizard whatever it might be Grab it. It's a spiny tail iguana. So what we just saw here was a spiny tail iguana, which we don't want to see in this area. So we're just going to lift this panel up right now. He's not under this one. So he must have made his way under these other panels. So we're going to continue to move these out of the way so we can try to catch this animal. Now, again, I've never seen these in the area. Moment of truth. 
We're gonna lift this up in one, two, three. Oh, oh he's right there. Grab him. So right now we've actually noticed the lizard's tail and feet are right here, which means he's behind this wood. So we're gonna try to catch him right now in one, two, three. I got him. I got him. Look at that. We caught him. Look at that. One. Look at that. Spiny tail iguana right here from my sister's house. This is a crazy find in this area. So this is a similar spiny tail iguana, similar to some of the ones that I have, the baker eye iguanas, but this is a different species in one of many invasive iguanas found here in South Florida. Here in South Florida, we have green iguanas that are invasive. We have these spiny tail similis iguanas, and we have pectinata iguanas. So we have about three different spiny tail iguanas that are invasive. Hannah, come look at this guy. Oh, he's so Isn't that pretty. cool? Look, look at him, why don't you pick him up? Guys, that was crazy. We were not expecting to find a spiny tail iguana. So Hannah, are you gonna keep him? Should I? I think you should. I think I am. He's pretty cute. He's Look pretty at him. cute and he might even be tame, but comment down below. What should we name this guy? So Hannah has a new pet. Yes. And now we're gonna be checking our traps. So I don't know where these traps are, so why don't you open up? I let so yeah, Hannah borrow the traps. We put one in here and okay. then we put one on this side. This side's broken. You can't lock it, so it blows open all the time. But let's head in here first. Alright, let's open it up right now in three, two, two. One, uh, nothing, nothing Nothing at all. The trap has not been set off. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but the trap is not set off. It's still open. So we're going to leave that closed for now because if there is something in there, we don't want to spook it. And now we got to look at our other trap. Let's go. Let's go take a look right now around the corner. I don't know. There's something in the trap. Wait, let me bring this. Oh my gosh. Do you see No that? way. Go grab it. Go grab it. Go grab it. Actually, I'll oh. grab it. Okay. Guys, look at this. Let's bring it out. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Look, we have one of my favorite invasive species, the green amoeba here. Look at this. So you can see that these guys have beautiful turquoise blues and greens. And it looks like he ate all the fish food you put in yeah, there. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Now these little traps right here are really good for invasive lizards. Hannah, we just caught some in my last video. We caught one of these guys, a much smaller one. But these little traps right here are good for rats and also lizards. So this right here is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna have to open this door and grab this lizard before he can run out. We don't want him to run out. We definitely wanna catch this guy, but he's waiting right here at the door. All right, we're just gonna reach in right now and grab him just like that. You gotta be quick and fast or else these guys can bolt out. He's trying to bite me. So what we want to do now is we want to reposition our hands just like this. And so far on Hannah's property today, we've caught two different invasive species. This guy I was not expecting to find, but these amoebas are starting to pop up all over South Florida. He would love to give me a little bite. And if you really look at his teeth, he's got these nice little razor teeth and that would definitely not feel good at all to get bit by this little mini tegu. But my favorite part, about these guys is their beauty. You can see they have these beautiful green tails as they mature, They're, and it turns into this electric blue, and they have that same blue on their legs. This is one of the coolest invasives you can find here in South Florida. Definitely one of my favorites, and we have a spiny tail iguana. Let's look at these two together. Guys, being able to find these invasives here in South Florida, it's amazing, but also bad, because both of these animals are from South America, and they're not supposed to be here in Florida. We've had a pretty crazy day so far at Hannah's house. We saved the turtle from the pool. We caught a spiny tail iguana in the barn and we trapped an amoeba in a trap. So I'd say we're, we're off to a good start. Great start. So why don't you show everyone the house? Everyone on my channel hasn't seen it yet. This is in the works, but yes. take us specifically to the bathroom where the owners were hearing noise, where you've seen some stuff and heard some stuff. Yes. Yeah, so we're first walking into the kitchen area. I mean, you can see everything is under construction. Yep. And then that's where the rats were. The ceiling yeah. in her video was ripped apart. They fixed it already, but there was rats living in the ceiling. It's completely open, but the bedroom's all the way in the back. Okay, let's go take a look. So I thought when I got my house it was crazy, but this is even crazier because they're literally redoing everything inside of the house. Almost looks like a war zone in here. So we're gonna keep walking, and as you can see, each room has yes, literally nothing in it. And then this is the master. Yes, we're making it. Okay, let's go. Everything is literally completely ripped. Oh my gosh! Wait, do you hear that? Do you hear, do you hear that little noise? Wait. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like a little, it's like a little chirp noise. Wait. I doubt it's gonna pick up on the camera. It's so. I know, like but it's slight. so faint. But we might. Do, do you guys hear that? I hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I definitely hear it. I def Okay, so it's definitely coming from this way. So let's take a look. Let's go in. So her bathroom leads directly outside. The door is wide yeah. open. Oh my gosh, this is. It's insane. It's literally insane. Anything. Hannah. So this like, is your bathroom. This, this is my bathroom. 
but there's holes in the wall. This is what I was telling you. Oh my god. There's holes in the wall and the floor that anything can just crawl yeah, anything in at any can moment. Literally just come in. So yeah. right here, like Hannah was saying, you can see that there's these holes leading to the outside. Hannah, the chirping noise. Do you hear it again? Yeah, I hear it again. It stopped when we walked in, but now it started. It, it did. Wait, shh. But you need to whisper, yeah. It's it's coming from right there. It's coming from there. It is? I think so, but it's really hard to see. It's hard to see. I don't want to spoke. Wait. Let's see. All right, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Right here. Let me take a look. Let's look. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see it. I see it. What is it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna try and catch it, but he's trapped because this only goes to right here. Once it hits right here, it's stuck. I'm gonna, I, I think I can, but I gotta take my watch off first. I don't wanna, we're gonna take our watch off. I'm a little scared. We're gonna reach our hand in and try to grab this thing. All right, he's right here. I'm gonna reach in. He's right up here against the wall. One, two, I got him. I got him you right got here. It? Yeah, yeah, I got him. All right, I'm pulling him up. Oh. And look at this. This is so insane. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. This is another invasive species that a lot of people don't know we have here in South Florida. This is a toke gecko, and toke geckos are notorious for making this exact noise. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So if you're in South Florida and you hear that noise, just know that there's a toke gecko nearby. But this has got to be the biggest and juiciest toke gecko that I have ever seen in my life. Now let's see if we can get him to make his noise right now. Hi there, little buddy. Now he just wants to bite. Oh my gosh. I almost got absolutely nailed by this guy right here. He's got this big, broad, fat head right here, and he's got insane chomping power. This is probably one of the worst invasive bites you can get here in South Florida is from a toke gecko. They've got incredible force and you can see this gecko is just absolutely massive and I want to flip him over and just show you his belly. These orange spots go all over the belly. This is without a doubt one of my favorite species to find and if you look at his feet right here you can see his feet have these gripping pads. These little gripping pads are what the geckos use to cling on and grab on to climb onto stuff. So each little line that you see is actually a grip pad so when he goes onto your hand just like this it just feels like it's like velcro like tape sticking to your hands he's on and he is locked on hannah what do you think of this crazy guy he's insane that was definitely the noise i know hearing. right here want to touch no, him no i'm okay we have a trifecta of south florida invasives all removed from my sister's house today we caught the green amoeba in the trap we caught the toke gecko in the bathroom and we caught the spiny tail iguana living inside of the barn we had an absolutely insane day. I had so end. much fun, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed today's adventure. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, which of these three invasives was your favorite? Was it the amoeba, was it the toke, or was it the spiny tail? And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me or my sister, well guys, all you have to do is subscribe below.